Hello everyone. Welcome to Knowledge India once again where we try to make easy cloud videos for you. In this particular video, I'll try to explain you some of the details related to IAM role. I'm sure you have seen and used IAM roles already and you know what are they used for. But uh, we need to understand that what are the different types of IAM roles which are there? What are the important differences between them? Okay, so this is a short video but it will help you to understand uh, you know as you work in AWS and you see different types of IAM roles you'll be able to understand the difference between them and you will never get confused right so as you know that we go ahead and create IAM role basically to delegate access right uh, now whenever you are creating an IAM role you would have seen these two things you specify that what all uh, permissions you know which will be attached to this particular IAM role basically you say that S3 full access or EC2 full access or some other permissions you go ahead and attach the permission to an IAM role and you also specify the trust relationship so what is the trust relationship trust relationship basically tells who can assume this IAM role whether it's C2 service which can assume or lambda service which can assume or cloud formation which can assume or who can assume this role that part is specified in trust relationship right and the permissions or policies which are attached to that IAM role that part tells you that what all you know uh, the service or whoever is assuming this IAM role what all actions are allowed for that particular you know for that particular uh, service or user let's say right that what all actions are allowed and what things are not allowed so that you get to know by the permissions part right now if you have been working on aws you would have seen different types of roles right so let me show you in my account what all different types of roles are there so i am there in one of my aws accounts and you can see like there are so many different im roles available here right now look at the trusted entities part right and you can see that if you if you look at this one it is written aws service and which service it is cloud formation so basically cloud formation service can assume this role that's what you understand and if you see just above that again here it is written aws service trusted advisor so you understand that trusted advisor service can assume this role right so these two I'm comparing at this point. But if you see there is an there is one more thing written here called service link role. So that's the important difference which I want to explain you here, right? So there are uh, service link roles and there are service roles, right? So the bottom one, this one, right? The one which is CFN hyphen role, this is actually a service role, whereas this one is service link role. What is the difference between the two? Let's try and understand that quickly. So a service role is basically a role which any AWS service assumes in your account on your behalf, right? For example, I want to use cloud formation to go ahead and provision, let's say S3 buckets, right? Just a simple example. Now there are two ways to do it. One is that I can go ahead and use my own credential or my own user, right? And I go to cloud formation console and I go ahead and just follow the workflow and at the end s3 buckets will get created but in this case my credentials gets used right like whichever i am user who is logged in that user's credential get used whereas uh, the sec uh, the other method could be that i can go ahead and specify like this type of role right so while i am creating any resource using cloud formation i can specify this role and then what will happen cloud formation service will make use of this i am role to go ahead and provision the resources right so that's the first type you are also aware of uh, this im roles which we give to ec2 instance that is also a service role right so what we do is we create an im role like if you look at this one this is an im role which i have created and i have said that in trust relationship ec2 services is specified so which means this role can be assumed by any ec2 instance right and then from that ec2 instance different aws actions can be called right i hope all of you understand that if you if you are new to im role itself there is an im role detailed video you can go ahead and watch that right but but what is the difference between 
then this service role and this one then the very important difference is this is something which i have created where which you know where i have control that what permissions i want to give you know uh, to this particular role i can control that part whereas this one i don't have any control now let me just show it to you right so if you look at this one cfn hyphen role currently i have just given one particular policy which is amazon s3 full access if i want i can click here and attach more policies here right of course i can do that but um, if you look at this one right this is the one which was service linked role now here you can see for trusted advisor whatever policies are required those policies are attached already and i as a user like i am not having any rights to go ahead and actually add additional policies to it trust relationship is also defined i cannot go ahead and edit or change it you might be thinking of this edit button at the top if i click this it just allows me to change the role description though it says session duration but it won't allow you to change session duration as well this is more of this ui glitch i hope when aws updates this ui this part will be taken care of right whereas if i go to the cfn role this is the one which i created i have control that what all policies i want to add i can do that so here if i press on edit of course i get option to change the session duration as well right so that's the that's the important difference right so if i just come here if you see there is an aws service role and there is an aws service linked role so the important difference is aws service linked role it's a unique type of service role that is linked directly to a service to an aws service service linked roles are predefined by the service and include all the permissions that the service requires to call other aws services on your behalf the linked service also defines how you create modify and delete a service linked role okay so the point is these service linked roles when it get created as a user you do not have any control over it that's what i was trying to tell you right whereas uh, the aws service roles you go ahead and create it and you would have seen this many times you go ahead and create service roles for lambda you go ahead and create service roles for ec2 you go ahead and create uh, service roles for cloud formation many of the times you go ahead and create service roles when you um, uh, also go ahead and do s3 bucket replication right when you do all of that aws service roles are created or i should say you go ahead and create it so the point is there are these two types of roles so a service role is also assumed by a service service linked role is also assumed by a service but the important difference is in case of service role you can control what all permissions you want to give you can create it you can delete it whatever whenever you want where a service linked role you cannot control what permissions to be added right some of the times it becomes possible for you to delete it uh, depending on service to service it you know that part differs and uh, you can find it out in the documentation i'll leave this link in the description you can go ahead and look at it of course in addition to that you already know that you can also go ahead and like if you press create role you can see there are other types of uh, uh, roles as well this is the first one right when you choose the aws service there are others as well like if you want to trust another aws account then you choose this one if you want to trust an a web identity like an identity which you have configured using uh, cognito or facebook or google then you use this one this is there for for saml federation like in my account i have aws sso setup so whenever a role is created which allows or which trusts this particular saml provider then you go with uh, this one and if you want to write your own custom trust policy then you can use this last one of course right so those are the different types of trusted entities actually so i think i will end this video here i wanted to explain you that what all different types of roles exist and many other times i've seen people getting confused between service roles and service linked roles so i hope uh, that helps and uh, you know if you want to learn more uh, please look at the video description there are a lot more playlists for you to learn and if you liked it if it helped you maybe share this video with someone so we'll meet again in the next video very soon till then take care bye bye
Congrats on completing that tutorial. We have a lot more similar awesome tutorials on our channel which you can go through in the playlist section. Let us know what you think about our videos in the comment section and if you like it please do share it with your friends and hit the like button. Thank you.